So that uh, cognitive impairment is really very important in our patients. So because uh, more or less around between 60 and 80 percent of our patients, they have cognitive impairment. And the cognitive impairment can start from the beginning of the disease. And that is very important because that it means a disability for later, for example, for the work. So that many patients, they, have a, they can walk and they can move and that is not a problem, but they have some prob cognitive problems and they cannot uh, work in a proper way. So that is really affecting, the cognitive impairment is really affecting to the, to the quality of life of the patients. So, and uh, we have seen that there is a, a correlation between the cognitive impairment and what is happening in the, in the brain. So that with different, uh, with different uh, techniques of uh, MRI, we are looking at the volume brain loss, so of the atrophy. And we have seen that when the patients, uh, they, have a, they lose a lot of brain, so the whole brain, so they have more cognitive impairments. So that we, and uh, there is another way not only to see uh, the whole brain, so that we can look at the thalamus or we can look at the cortical gray, gray matter. So, and we have seen that the patients with MS, uh, when they are not treated, they lose more, at more uh, thalamus volume, and these patients, they have more, uh, alt uh, more alteration in the cognitive alteration. And it's the same for the cortical gray. We know that from the Alzheimer, that when you have cortical loss, uh, you have more memory problems, and it's the same for MS. So that uh, we, ha we have now the correlation that when you have a cognitive impairment is because you are losing a brain volume, and that is very important because we need to try to find some treatments that we, 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 we can reduce the, the, the loss of the brain volume.